Today is the first ever virtual march and rally for life. We have a, a group of pro-life leaders and representatives who are going to be marching together for the unborn and for all the people that they represent back home who are joining us virtually. I know people are logged in across the country to watch really the hundreds of thousands who would love to be here with us. We're here to represent them. The Knights of Columbus are the backbone of the March for Life. We work in tandem, making decisions. It's hard to imagine the March for Life still happening if it weren't for the Knights of Columbus. We're here at St. Anne's Basilica to enjoy this March for Life virtually. We're still here, we're protecting life and supporting life, and, and as a knight, that's paramount. We're about a bunch of guys who care about our unborn children, and we're doing everything we can to help whenever we can. It's that simple. We're at St. Augustine's Catholic Church, right outside of the University of Florida. Knights of Columbus are in charge of holding the live stream and handing out events and making sure people are coming out in support of the defense of life. If we don't stand up for life, then frankly, what can we stand up for? Life is the fundamental value. If we don't defend life, then we can't defend anything else. The Knights of Columbus are the heroes of the March for Life. They show up in person today and they're keeping us safe. And they've also just given so generously to support our work in fighting for life. Each of us, way back from the beginning of the pro-life movement, has known we are on a lifetime's journey. The direction of that journey does not bend. It does not waver, though sometimes it may slow down. But in the end, our pro-life journey has a destination. And that, my friends, is victory. <laughs>